Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1948 through 1979 vintage baseball cards from the PWCC weekly auction that ended on February 11th. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1960 Topps Bob Gibson card number 73. This was an SGC5 and it sold for $81.60. Up next at number 49 is this 1957 Topps Ernie Banks card number 55. This was an SGC4 and it sold for $81.60. We get our first raw baseball card at number 48 with this 1952 Topps Andy Pafco card number 1. This card was ungraded but authenticated by MBA, and it also sold for $81.60. Coming in at number 47 is this 1973 TCMA All-Time Greats postcard featuring John McGraw and Babe Ruth. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $84. Up next at number 46 is this 1967 Topps Cards Clubbers featuring Lou Brock and Kurt Flood, card number 63. This was a PSA 7 and it sold for $86.40. Coming in at number 45 is this 1959 Topps Frank Robinson, card number 435. This was an SGC4, and it also sold for $86.40. Up next at number 44, is this 1960 Topps Stan Musial, card number 250. This was an SGC 5.5, and it sold for $91.20. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 43 with Stan's 1973 TCMA All-Time Greats postcard. This was a PSA 10 and it sold for $93.60. We're headed back to the 1960s at number 42 with this 1969 Topps Willie Mays card number 190. This was a PSA 4 and it also sold for $93.60. Coming in at number 41 is this 1954 Topps Yogi Berra card number 50. This was an SGC3, and it sold for $98.40. Up next at number 40 is this 1973 TCMA All-Time Greats postcard featuring Walter Johnson. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $100.80. Coming in at number 39 is this 1973 TCMA All-Time Greats postcard featuring Ty Cobb. This was a PSA 9 and it also sold for just over $100. Up next at number 38 is this 1973 TCMA All-Time Greats postcard featuring Satchel Page and Bob Feller. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $108. 
Coming in at number 37 is this 1973 TCMA All-Time Greats postcard featuring Roberto Clemente. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $110.40. Make that five straight 1973 TCMA all-time great postcards at number 36, this time featuring Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $112.80. Coming in at number 35 is this 1956 Topps Wally Moon, card number 55. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $115.80. Up next at number 34 is this 1952 Bowman Warren Spawn, card number 156. This was a PSA 2, and it sold for $132. Coming in at number 33 is this 1962 Mantle Batting Tips Mickey Mantle. This card was ungraded but authenticated by NBA, and it sold for $144. We're sticking to the 1950s at number 32 with this 1952 Bowman Duke Schneider card number 116. This was a PSA 4 and it sold for $156. Coming in at number 31 is this 1973 TCMA all-time greats postcard featuring Warren Gales and Roberto Clemente. This was a PSA 10, and it sold for $162. Make that back-to-back -back appearances to kick off the top 30 with this 1972 Topps Roberto Clemente card number 309. This was a BVG 7.5, and it sold for $162. Up next at number 29 is this 1968 Topps Ernie Banks, card number 355. This was a PSA 9 with the OC qualifier, and it sold for $162. Coming in at number 28 is this 1958 Hires Root Beer Ted Klozinski No Tab, card number 67. This was a PSA 8, and it also sold for $162. We're headed back to the 1970s at number 27 with this 1973 TCMA All-Time Greats Mickey Mantle postcard. This was a PSA 9, and it sold for $168. Up next at number 26 is this 1967 Topps Tony Oliva card number 50. This was a PSA 8, and it sold for $168. Coming in at number 25 is this 1954 Bowman Whitey Ford, card number 177. This was an SGC 7, and it also sold for $168. We're headed back to the 1960s at number 24 with this 1960 Fleer Babe Ruth card number three. 
This was a BBG7 and it sold for $186. Coming in at number 23 is this 1958 Topps Willie Mays card number 5. This was an SGC 3.5 and it also sold for $186. Up next at number 22 is this 1971 Topps Steve Carlton card number 55. This was a BBG 8.5 and it sold for $192. Coming in at number 21 is this 1961 Topps Roberto Clemente card number 388. This was a PSA 6 and it also sold for $192. And kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1966 Topps Mickey Mantle, card number 50. This was a PSA 3 and it sold for $228. Up next at number 19 is this 1973 TCMA All-Time Greats Babe Ruth postcard. This was a PSA 9 and it sold for $264. We're headed back to the 1950s for the next couple cards starting at number 18 with this 1957 Topps Hank Aaron card number 20. This was a PSA 4 and it also sold for $264. Coming in at number 17 is this 1956 Topps Hank Aaron card number 31. This was a PSA 4 and it sold for $288. We're back to the 1960s at number 16 with this 1969 Topps Mickey Mantle card number 50. This was an SGC4 and it sold for $300 even. We welcome a newcomer to the list at number 15 with this 1975 Topps Nolan Ryan 74 Highlights card number 5. This was a PSA 8.5 and it sold for $312. Up next at number 14 is this 1975 Topps George Brett Rookie card number 228. This was a PSA 7 and it sold for $348. Make that three straight newcomers to the list at number 13. With this 1960 Topps Carl Yastrzemski rookie card number 148. This was a PSA 6 and it sold for $360. Up next at number 12 is this 1959 Topps Willie Mays Catch Make Series History card number 464. This was a PSA 7 and it sold for $420. Coming in at number 11 is this 1956 Topps Monte Irvin card number 194. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $492.
This is 1959 Topps Bob Gibson rookie, card number 514. This rookie was in a PSA 4 and it sold for just over $500. Up next at number 9 is this 1964 Topps Pete Rose, card number 125. This was an SGC6 and it sold for $516. Make that back-to-back -back newcomers to the list at number 8 with this 1956 Topps Jackie Robinson Whiteback, card number 30. This was a PSA 5, and it sold for $720. Up next at number 7 is this 1958 Topps Mickey Mantle All-Star, card number 487. This was a PSA 6.5, and it sold for $750. Coming in at number 6 is this 1954 Topps Phil Rizzuto, card number 70. This was a PSA 8 and it sold for $870. We're sticking to the 1954 Topps baseball set to kick off the top 5 with Hank Aaron's rookie card with card number 128. This was an SGC2, and it sold for $1,860. Up next at number 4 is this 1956 Topps Hank Aaron Whiteback Auto, card number 31. This was a PSA 5 that was given a 9 grade for the auto, and it sold for $2,040. Coming in at number 3 is this 1957 Topps Ted Williams Auto, card number 1. This was a PSA 4.5 with a PSA DNA authenticated auto, and it sold for $2,130. And we get a massive price jump starting at number 2. With this 1948 Leaf Jackie Robinson rookie, card number 79. This rookie was in a SGC4 and it sold for $9,900. And topping off today's list at number 1 is this 1963 Topps Pete Rose rookie, card number 537. This rookie was in a SGC 8.5 and it sold for $11,100. Thanks for joining me today guys and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.